Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use a card reader to transfer your photos from a camera card to the computer. Here's one type of card reader that we have in this classroom. I'm going to insert the camera card into the card reader and then put that into my computer. To open that, I'm going to click on this yellow folder icon down here at the bottom of the screen. Look over on the left side until you find the USB drive and then click on it. Now find the DCIM folder and click on that. Click on the top folder. Here are my images. Next I'm going to go to Google Drive. Here's my Google Drive. I'm going to choose my photo folder and create a new folder. And I'm going to title it Wire Photos and click Create. Now I'm going to open up that folder that I just made. I'm going to go back down here to the bottom menu bar and click on the yellow folder icon. I'm going to click and hold in this white area and drag a selection around all of my photos. Now I'm going to click and hold on these photos and drag over and I can see that I have 12 photos that I'm copying to my drive. I just have to wait for these to upload into the folder. While those are uploading, I want to show you another way to select photos. You can click on one and hold down control you can click on them out of order. And then you can click and drag those over and copy them if you want to. Or you can click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the last one. And then you can click and drag those and drop them into the folder that you want. There are multiple ways to select images and then click them and drag them. Let's see how we're doing. We need to wait until all 12 images are uploaded. Now that all 12 of my images are successfully uploaded, I'm going to go back and click on this yellow folder icon, select these images from the camera card, and I'll click this delete icon confirm that I'd like to delete all 12 of these photos from the camera card. Now on the left here I'll click on the USB drive, right click on it and choose eject so that I can safely remove that device from the computer. That's it for this video.